In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to crop and resize elements in Open Broadcaster Software, or OBS, which is what I use for screen recording. Of course, in this video in particular, I'm using the QuickTime screen recorder so you guys can see my OBS window. Now I'll scale this up a little bit, but as you have a capture of a capture of a capture, it gets a little interesting, kind of like Inception there, but don't mind that. Now let me show you how to crop elements or sources in OBS. First off, we're gonna start by showing you how to crop a camera source. So I would go down to video capture device, add a new capture device, and then find that device. In my instance, it's the Razer. Hey, what's up guys? And then I would go to 1920 by 1080, hit okay. And now we've got this giant little uh, window where we have my webcam. So to crop this down, maybe I want it to be just, you know, like this tight in on my face, and then I wanna scale it down. First off, when you hover over any of these points around the edge, it's gonna give you a little arrow. And if you hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, you can bring in these corners. And then we can crop this in just like that. And we can do that. And then if I let go of that shortcut key, I can come up to one of these corners again and just scale this down. So now I've just got this little webcam in the corner that's cropped to shape. If you want to reset all the transformation and all the cropping, you can right click on that source go down to transform, and then you can either edit the transform, which allows you to adjust a lot of different variables in here and different properties like the size, the positioning, or you can hit the reset button here, or I usually just go to right click transform and then reset transformation, which is gonna put that right back to the 1920 by 1080 original size and crop of that source. So let's get rid of this guy again. We're gonna scale him down. Now, if you wanted to do that to a window capture, it's the exact same thing, but I'm gonna show you guys something you might run into, which gets a little weird, and I'm not exactly sure why it does this. If I reset this window transformation, because this window, my monitor resolution is actually larger than the canvas that I've set up, which is 1920 by 1080. When I reset that screen capture, it's actually this giant source that's larger than the size of my you know, canvas here in OBS. So I could do the same exact thing, hold option and sort of crop this down to shape. Or if I undo a couple times, command or control Z, I can also scale this down, right? I can scale it down till it locks in and I can kind of scale it back up until it's the size of this frame that we have here. One quick way to scale this is to right click on a source, go to transform and just say fit to screen. So if I fit it to the screen, it's gonna fit it to our screen, I guess, our, our capture, our canvas or whatever. When you do that, when you use one of those tra quick transform properties that fits it to the screen or stretches to the screen, it does a little something to the cropping. Now, if I hold option or alt and try to crop from the inside here, it more or less pulls things within that same frame. Notice how the red outline is not changing, but this little crop factor is. So I could crop to the edge of this window here, go from top down and crop, just pulling it down to the edge of that. Same thing, I'm gonna crop to each of these edges. I'm looking at where that black line, you know, the, the wallpaper of the desktop touches the side of that window. Same thing here, and I'm holding Alt or Option this whole time, just pulling that up. And once I get it to there, the bounding box isn't the same as the crop. So that can be what can happen if you use that transform property first. It still works the same, it's still cropped, and I can scale this down. It's just now that the bounding box is different than the actual crop itself, which I think personally makes it harder to crop. How do we avoid this? Don't use one of these fit to screen options to start with. Instead, just reset that transformation. Obviously it's larger, but what I can do really quickly is just scale that down by clicking and dragging on a corner. So we have this box scaled down and then I could hold option or alt and bring this in just like that. Kind of a little quirk in OBS, same with Streamlabs OBS, I've used both. But once we do that, then we can let go of that hotkey and just scale this up or whatever and the bounding box stays with the crop. That's just one thing that I'm not really sure why it does it, but it does here in OBS, but that's how to crop window captures, video captures, your webcam, anything here in OBS and using those transform properties is really helpful.